Dianne Feinstein, the oldest sitting U.S. Senator, announcing today that she will not seek another term in 2024. The trailblazing Feinstein is also the longest serving senator from California and the first woman in that role from the Golden State. Two people have already launched campaigns to replace her in the seat she has held for three decades. Pedro Rivera live in the newsroom with more on Feinstein's career. Pedro. In four months, Senator Dianne Feinstein is set to turn 90 years old and in the last year, some people have questioned whether or not the longtime senator is still fit to serve in the Senate. Feinstein responded to the criticism, saying her record shows she still is an effective representative. Well, today she decided to go out on her own terms. With these simple words, a major change is coming to California politics. Dianne Feinstein wrote, I am announcing today I will not run for re-election in 2024. She's a legend. A legend in California as the first woman senator. A legend in this Senate. I'd like to use my time to make a statement, if I may. After more than 30 years in the Senate, Feinstein is California's longest serving senator. Her counterpart, California Senator Alex Padilla, spoke about her impact beyond the Golden State. It'd be impossible to write the history of American politics without acknowledging the trailblazing career of Senator Dianne Feinstein. After her start on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1969, a decade later, more history was made as Feinstein became the first female mayor of San Francisco. She took over following the assassinations of Supervisor Harvey Milk and Mayor George Moscone at the hands of Supervisor Dan White. Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. Oh. In 1992, Feinstein would successfully run for Senate and use her tragic experience from San Francisco to push for gun control across the country. I am quite familiar with firearms. I became mayor as a product of assassination. I'm aware of I that. I found my assassinated colleague and put a finger through a bullet hole. She was the leader on so many different issues. Assault weapons, environment, women's rights. I believe very strongly that we should control our own bodies. But now the question turns to who is next to fill the open seat. I need your help. Donate at adamschiff.com. I'm announcing my candidacy for the United States Senate. Prior to Tuesday's announcement, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff and Congresswoman Katie Porter announced they plan to run for the seat in 2024. There is speculation Representative Barbara Lee may soon officially announce her candidacy. The history-making senator will step down at the end of 2024. And Republicans are preparing for their own run for the seat. Republicans will make a pitch on a directional change to the right for the Golden State. California GOP chairwoman Jessica Milan Patterson said the party will get behind a strong candidate to, quote, deliver a strong message for how Republicans can improve the lives of all Californians. Back to you. Pedro, thank you.